GFB and this video is all about how our new DB Plus works. While it may look like a simple bit of gear, it does actually operate quite differently from the factory diverter. And there's some tricky patent pending stuff going on inside. So we'd like to explain the actual mechanism in some detail. So let's start with a typical example. So you're driving along the road and you floor the throttle. You've got boost pressure at the inlet of the valve pushing on the face of the piston. However, air is also fed through this small transfer hole, which balances the boost pressure on both sides of the piston. And the important thing is, yeah, the area here is about 20% smaller than the area on the back of the piston. So that means for any given boost pressure, there's 20% more force pushing it closed than there is pushing it open. So that means the piston is gonna stay shut no matter what the boost pressure is, and even if you remove the spring entirely. Now when you lift off the throttle, the ECU will energise the solenoid coil and the plunger inside here will retract. And what that will do is open up a port on the back of the valve here, which relieves the pressure from behind the piston. So now with no more uh, pressure holding the piston closed, it's free to blow open with the boost pressure from the intercooler and that will start the valve venting. And when you reopen the throttle, the solenoid will be turned off, the plunger closes this port and that means the pressure once again equalises on both sides of the piston and it will snap shut and you're ready to go again. If however you don't reopen the throttle, the ECU will continue to keep the solenoid turned on for a couple of seconds. As the DB Plus vents, the intercooler pressure will drop and the spring will actually start to close the piston until there's no more pressure left and then the piston will be fully shut. So even if the ECU is holding the solenoid coil on, the DB Plus can close itself there's no more boost pressure left to vent. This is the key to improving throttle response over the factory valve. You only vent just enough air to get the job done, which is to prevent compressor surge. Venting more air than necessary only increases lag, which is what the factory divert valve does, since it can only operate in two states. It's either open or shut. The factory diverter valve has no ability to progressively close or open in response to the boost pressure in the pipes. Okay, so now you might be wondering how fast all this can really happen since there's quite a lot going on. We'll take a look at this video. So you can see that the valve opens and closes pretty much instantly, even at 30 psi of boost. So there you have it. That's how the GFB DB Plus works. 